Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Friday's Thought for the Day. Yesterday, we read of Jesus being taken up into heaven, and we continue on now in Acts chapter 1, verses 10 to 11. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men, dressed in white, stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Jesus has now left earth, but he will return one day to bring about a new heavens and a new earth. Now the angels are not saying that Jesus will return in exactly the same way and the same place that he left. There will be similarities, his return will be visible, he will be coming in a cloud, but there are also differences. When Jesus left, only 11 apostles saw him go. When Jesus returns, the Bible says that all people will see him come back. So Revelation chapter 1 verse 7, look, he is coming with the clouds and every eye will see him. So what should you and I be doing until the return of Jesus? Well, remember the question the angels asked the disciples. Why do you stand here looking into the sky? The implication is that the disciples are not to be gazing up at the sky, simply waiting for Jesus to return. There is no point in wishing that Jesus was still with them or longing for him to come back straight away. Instead, they must get on with the task that Jesus has given them, telling others about him. Likewise, we are not to stand around trying to work out when Jesus will come back. We are to get on with the task that Jesus has given us too of being his witnesses, empowered by the Holy Spirit. So the period between the the ascension of Jesus and the return of Jesus is to be a period of mission. So who are the people that you and I are praying to come to know Jesus? And will we speak to them about Jesus too? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you that the risen Jesus ascended and now reigns at your right hand in heaven. As we eagerly await his return, please help us to tell others the good news of salvation in Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a good Friday.